Well, hello guys, how you doing? You know, I recently came across a product that I personally had never used before, but it sounded like an excellent idea. So I bought it from my local parts store, tried it out, and immediately had questions of what was going on. The product is CRC Zincit. I did a little research online, could find absolutely no definitive answers. So we're going to do a little bit of testing here and see what we can come up with. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and show you what I've got going on. So here we have the two front seat adjusters for our 48 Chevy project. One I've already coated with the Zincit and one obviously is bare. Now this is a case I wanted a product um, when I have an assembly that still works great I don't necessarily need to take it apart and absolutely restore it, clean it up, whatever. Um, and it remains hidden in the vehicle. So the appearance doesn't matter, the function works fine, but yet I need to clean it up, coat it with something so we don't re-rust right away, and uh, away we go. Like I said, CRC Zincit, instant cold galvanize, actively fights corrosion, stops rust, dries fast. Then they put some misleading pictures of a corrugated steel roof, a chain link fence with a chain and padlock, and some hardware. So instantly you're thinking galvanized, zinc, you're seeing these pictures, it's going to be shiny. No, it will not. In fact, you can actually see the end result of my spring. This here is our test piece of iron. Here is Rust-Oleum's automotive primer and they look very similar. The feel and the look is incredibly soft but it does dry incredibly fast. So if you're expecting this to look like a galvanized tin roof or some hardware straight out of the hardware store that is that is incorrect. It will not look like that. Now you can turn to the infallible authority on any subject which is the Amazon review and find an infinity of opinions on this product ranging of course from those that absolutely love it to those who absolutely despised it. I think those that did not like it were expecting something like this and got something like that but you know on the other end of the spectrum there were guys in the um, marina industry that use this on the props and drive assemblies so to speak I'm not a I'm not a boat guy myself um, but they had coated the bottoms of their boats the workings of their boats with this stuff and they claimed it lasted for a couple of years or guys in the welding industry that um, had to re-weld something that had been galvanized and they recoat the weld with this which is what it's intended for and they said it works great so I am expecting good results from it um, but disappointing looks from it now once again I'm only using it on pieces our front seat adjusters window regulators and so forth um, that are not seen in a car after they are installed. So, will it work for that? Yes, I believe it will. Now, some of the scathing reviews claim that this product, because it ends up looking like that, was just a primer and nothing more. So they claim these were basically one and the same. So I thought, well, let's have a little fun with it and see if we get a different result when exposed to the weather. So, I came up a little test piece, just an old piece of angle iron that was all rusty and painted. Um, I media blasted this half of it. I hit this, ha this quarter with a sanding belt, this quarter with a wire wheel. Of course this quarter I applied Rust-Oleum automotive primer to it and then we are going to coat the other three quarters with the zincit. Now this may be a disadvantage to the actual primer because it's meant to be top coated but since there were so many hateful reviews claiming that this was nothing more than primer I thought maybe it was more fitting to leave it bare primer and see how that competes. I'm wiping down the three remaining surfaces with 
PPG's Acrylaclean wax and grease remover as I did on the prime surface just before I primed it. And you will notice very soon how quickly this dries. Surface must be bare metal, clean and dry, mask area not to be sprayed. Shake well until agitator ball is free. Repeat while using. Best results are obtained when sprayed above 60 degrees. Hold can 8 to 12 inches from surface. Ap apply in light, even coats. Okay, it's all dried out. I'm going to coat it a second time. One thing about it, you will find it makes you feel like Michelangelo with a spray can. This thing lays on so nice and even and flat and smooth. It's a beautiful job as far as that goes. And they are also sure to tell you to clean out the nozzle when you are done. And there we go. It's been an approximate 24 hours. I wanted to let everything here get a good equal chance at doing that. Um, I've labeled everything top and bottom. This didn't want to take marker or paint marker very well. It's such a soft surface, I guess. And yeah, there we go. So let's head outside. I want to put it in the high spot where it's not going to be disturbed. So we'll just climb Chevy Mountain here. Point it north and south so it have an equal exposure to sun and uh, we'll just see what the Kansas Prairie weather does to it. Now I'll check it every now and then. We may see a result in a matter of weeks, months, years, who knows? But isn't it going to be an exciting adventure? Well okay guys it's been exactly one month and one day since I left it on top of the old Chevy out there. Um, it has had a month of incredibly hot days here in Kansas. Um, many or most days reaching 100 or a little bit over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We've had some thunderstorms come through, some rainy days, um, some day early mornings with a lot of dew, but mostly just the hot, dusty, dry days um, that we get a lot of. And probably a better control would have been putting a bare piece of metal out there as well along with this, but we all know what bare metal does when left out in the elements. It's going to rust. That's obvious. So anyway, and by the way, please excuse the uh, overall appearance of the can now. Um, my oldest son was spray painting a stormtrooper helmet and we used this for a stand, but you know, you knew what it looked like. So let's talk about the pros and cons of what I have found out. Um, first of all, let's just say all three forms, methods of stripping the rust and the paint um, and then coating it with the zincate, they all look identical having left them outside. Um, it has darkened most of the soft, almost fuzzy surface has left, probably in the rain and this kind of dark splotchy um, surface is what you have left obviously the primer has actually held up really well as well i see absolutely no rust whatsoever and the, one of the properties of zinc is of course it is a sacrificial metal for the steel underneath so it will give its all for help fighting corrosion before um, oxidation will form on the steel, the zinc will give itself up. So um, yeah, I see absolutely no problems. This would be an excellent product if you were say out here in farm country like I am and you needed to repair a galvanized stock tank or water windmill or irrigation system, you know, and you want to protect that weld. Um, so far so good. This would be an excellent product for that. Let's talk about a few pros and cons. The pros that I see, it goes on extremely well and easy. Application is beautiful. Um, it's not like paint at all. It's 
I don't really know how to describe it. It goes on so seemingly dry. Another pro would be that it dries extremely quick compared to paint. And you saw um, how that went. And the third pro would be so far so good it is doing its job and keeping this steel from rusting. And I only came up with a couple cons. The first one is the price. This costing about twice as much as a can of spray paint. But of course, if you want to prime and then use paint, you're at the cost of a can of zinc it right there. And the other negative being, if you are looking for a nice shiny galvanized or zinc plated finish, this is not gonna give you that result. Um, you have seen what this looks like and Shiny it is not. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I will throw this back up on top of the Chevy. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to revisit this, say in a couple months or six months or five years, whatever. I will gladly do it, but for my purposes in using this, it looks like it will be an excellent product. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next time.